Hi, it's Aurelius. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick start guide to using Canva. No matter what your purpose is, what your business is, or whether you're a student or teacher, I'm going to show you some of the most basic features as well as more advanced features. So I'll try to make everything as digestible as possible. So with that said, let's get started. Now, first things first, I do recommend you sign up for an account, even though Canva do allow you to start using the design tool straight away, but I do encourage you to sign up, link in the description box below. The first thing you'll see is the homepage. This is where all your kind of designs sit, as well as the templates that are available, as you can see right here. And below that, they'll suggest some of the templates, such as resumes, Instagram posts, logos, and posters. First thing you wanna make sure you do is think about what you wanna create. Do you want to create a social media graphic, an Instagram story, or a resume? Keep in mind though the sizes and dimensions for a particular social media platform, or if it's a document, whether it's an A3, A4, a letter size, or whatever it may be. Once you've determined the goal and the size, that's where you can go in, start using Canva. The quick way to search is to simply go to the search bar, and let's say we want to design a report. So we'll head there, search for report, and you'll find some suggestions made by Canva. I'll select the first one since that's the most relevant. Once you've searched whatever it is that you are searching for, you'll find templates relevant to that term. So in this case, it's reports. So we've got a social media report, a quarterly kind of quarter two financial report here, annual report. And of course, these are tailored towards companies. And you may have noticed if you hover over, you can see a preview, it automatically swipes and you can also notice the number of pages provided in this particular template. There's also ones that are paid. So you do need to either pay for the individual elements and objects that are included here, such as stock photos. And you could also upgrade to a Canva Pro account. So that's all included and you get access to all these templates without having to purchase these individual photos. But the ones indicated as free, those are the ones you're free to use. For this example, let's just open this one here, social media analytics. I'll click that once. That's going to now open that canvas and load up that template straight away. Here's what it looks like right off the bat. And you'll find a number of pages. This one's got quite a lot. It's got 10 pages specifically. Let's first talk about text, fonts, and colors. The first thing you might wanna do is obviously change the text. So it's as simple as using a mouse button and hovering over or clicking this area once and changing it to whatever you'd like. Let's say your company is named XYZ Company and you wanna say something like report and you could also date it or if you don't want particular elements or text on this template, you can easily just delete it. So if you just click once and then pressing the delete key, that will delete that particular element. Now I do want to go back and to undo, you can either go Command Z on your Mac keyboard, or if you're on Windows, it's Control Z, and that'll bring that back up. Otherwise, at the top, you'll see undo and redo. But if I click once on either the XYZ company report or the date, you'll see this other border around it. This indicates that it is grouped together, meaning if I move one section of this, it'll move the other. Grouping allows you to organize, keep things intact, and also save you time and hassle so you don't have to individually move each of the items. Let me show you an example. If I just drag it, it'll also move that particular text or element. To ungroup it, simply click any of the elements in that group and then click on ungroup right here. And now it is ungrouped and I can move each individual element or text. And as you can see, like this. Moving on, let's change the font style for this one right here, the heading. We can simply click that once right here. And then from here, we can select one of the other styles. The ones marked with the gold crown, these are the ones for upgraded Canva Pro users but they do have quite a large library of free fonts that you can use right off the bat. Let's say we wanna change it to BBAS right here. So I'll click that once. And now it has changed. To change the size, simply go here where it says font size, click the plus sign and that'll increase it. An alternate way is to simply drag the text box to the size that you want. Changing the color is as simple as selecting it then going to the text color right here, selecting the color, that you'd like and with just one click, that will change the color. So that's all about styling and formatting text. What happens if you want to add new text? Well, simply go to the text area right here and you're given a choice to add a heading, a subheading or a little bit of body text. Now, if you wanna go a bit more fancier, you can look down below where there are 
font combinations and ones that are already styled. Select the text that you want, let's say this one here. Click once, that'll add it to the canvas and you can edit just as normal. What's more, you can add some text effects too. So let's say we want to add text effects for this heading right here. Make sure you select it, go to effects and you're given these styling options. Let's say we wanna curve this text, simply click that once. You can also select how much curve you want. Obviously this is too big, so we can resize this to something smaller, let's say 50. Let's select out of it and there we go. Moving on, let's talk about photos and images and how you can go about adding it to your canvas. The first thing you're going to need is to obviously have your photos ready that you wanna upload. Let's say I wanna upload this one right here. All I need to do, I can simply just drag it to the uploads section. So if you don't have the uploads box or panel open, simply click on the uploads section right here. That'll bring up the upload media area. And alternatively, you can click the upload media button, then you'll need to browse for it. So my preference is to simply drag the image or images straight into this area. To insert an image to your canvas, simply click it once. That'll insert it to your canvas. And from here, we can resize or crop. To resize, we'll just drag either one of the four corners like so, or if you wanna crop it, simply use one of the horizontal or vertical right here. So I'm cropping it horizontally right here and we can crop it a bit more right here and let's replace this image right here. Sometimes you can also just drag it to the existing image that the template provides and this is a frame that simply is a placeholder. You can just insert it and drag it right there and then that'll size it to whatever it was. If you prefer not to, simply undo it and we'll just delete that existing placeholder image. And you can see right here, that's the frame that was initially there. And I'll just put it right here. Moving on, let's talk about elements. Elements are objects, icons, images, sometimes logos too that you can insert. Now as you'll see, if I go under elements, you'll find photos and videos too. We can do things like add lines and shapes, squares, circles. If you're searching for something specific, then use the search bar. And let's say we wanna look for flowers. And now you've got flowers. You can take it a step further. If you wanna search for red flowers, then simply search for red flowers. And now you've filtered it even more. In this example, I'm gonna search for coffee since I love coffee so much. And we're given the choice of either adding free elements or we've got pro elements as well. Do note if you add a pro element, it's got a watermark and as soon as you try to save it, it's going to ask you to pay for that particular element. You'll see in this example, I'm just going to now export this and download it. And right here where it says one times premium image, it's going to cost me one Australian dollar, which is why I highly recommend you upgrade to a Canva Pro account, especially if you are needing to do any design or creation work on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, do check the description box below where I provided a link to a 30-day trial of Canva Pro. For now, I'll just remove this Pro element and just add something that's a free one. Side note, I'm using a demo account, which is why you'll see the Canva Pro features, which I don't have access to. You'll see that I've added this object. Now, how about if I want to add it behind the image right here? So as simple as making sure you select that object, then going to position and selecting backward. That'll put it a layer behind. In instances where you've got multiple layers in front of each other or behind each other more so, you can actually go and select this and let's say we wanna put this behind everything. Instead of going position and backward, that's gonna take it a layer behind. You can simply go to two back. So let's start again, that's at the front. Let's choose two back. That'll put it straight to the back of all the other layers in front of it. Next up, let's talk about pages. You can add a new page for something like this. You've got 10 pages, but let's say you want to add a new page. We can simply click the add page. That'll open up a blank canvas like this. But how about if you want to copy a particular page? Uh, let's say this one here, page nine. Well, all you need to do is just hit the duplicate page button right here. That'll make a copy. As you can see, we've got page nine and page 10, which are the same. Next, you can simply move it down. Click that move down button. That'll move it down a step. And let's say you want it at the end, you can move it down again, but there is an alternate way. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Simply look down below where it says show pages. 
Now you can see all the pages with a bird's eye view. And from here, we can simply drag it to the page number we want. Now let's say you're done with your design. How do you go about saving it to the format that you want? Here are a couple of saving options. The fast and simple one is to simply use that download button. Canva will usually suggest the file type. So if you are creating some sort of video or even an Instagram uh, post, then it'll obviously select something that's an image based format. But in this case, it is a report type and it's determined that PDF print is a suggested, but I'm deciding it's not for printing, it's just for viewing online. So I'll choose PDF standard. That'll result to a smaller file size at the end of the day. You're also given the choice to select the actual pages that you want. Do you want all the pages or a specific page of that document? And when you're done, hit that download button. There are other saving and sharing options if you simply go to share. And you can share your design with another person if they wanna collaborate with your design. Let's say a team member or someone like a designer or a writer. Simply type in their email or emails right here and make sure you share a link to either edit or use as a template or share a link to only view the actual Canva design. Going to the ellipsis option, you're given even more options of saving and sharing and even exporting it and making it viewable as a website. So use a website or you can present this and record at the same time by using your webcam. It also integrates with many other apps. And as you can see right here, you can turn your document into a flipbook, for instance. Just like Photoshop, Canva do have keyboard shortcuts that you can use to make a workflow easier, make it more efficient and speed things up. I'll provide a link to this exact webpage where it provides Canva shortcuts. This is from the official Canva website. But the only problem is at the moment when you click it, it goes to the help page. So in order to view this, we can just increase the size on our browser by selecting either Control Plus or Command Plus on the Mac OS. Everything will look large, but as you can see, you can see the keyboard shortcuts right here. So we've got shortcuts for moving elements, got text shortcuts, other useful shortcuts too. Now for even more tips and tricks around Canva, do check out the description box below where I've provided a list of all the tutorials that I've created around Canva. So do check that out. But in the meantime, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and I'll leave a couple of other tutorials around Canva right here for you to watch next.